Good morning. I hope everyone's well. Uh, let's get started with our lessons for today. Start with the date, calendar. Yesterday was Tuesday, so today is Wednesday. Tomorrow will be Thursday. Yesterday was the 17th. Today is the 18th. Tomorrow will be the 19th. It's March and we're almost to that first day of spring. All right, so all together, it is March 18th, 2020. It's Wednesday and the short form of the date is 3-18-20. All right, let's do some counting. Are you ready? Let's just count by tens today. We don't count, well, we're not gonna count by ones today. Unless you want to, pause now and count from one to 100. Okay, by tens, here we go. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Now you do it by yourself. Okay, let's count by fives, here we go. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Now pause the video and do it yourself. Pause now. Okay. By twos, I'm going to count with you to 20, and then you pause the video and count the rest yourself. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Okay, pause the video now and count for yourself. All right. So yesterday we had been in school for 131 days. We need to add one more one to our ones place. Just one. Now how many do we have there? Two. So we take off the one. Let's add a two. Now we still have one full group of 100, and one, two, three groups of 10, and one, two ones, and that makes 132. We've been in school for 132 days. Good job. All right, let's do some math jar. Okay. Here is your problem. There it is. 64 plus 39. Don't forget to start in the ones place. Pause now. Write your problem down and solve it. Pause now. Okay, are you ready to solve it? Here we go. We always start where? In the ones place, that's right. Here we are. We're gonna start with the four and the nine. Put the big number in your head and count on. Which is the big number? The nine, so that one goes in our head. And the small number is four, so we put that on our fingers. Nine's in our head, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13, nine plus four is 13. So what do we put in the ones place? A three, that's right. But we need to remember to carry that 10 over into the tens place, right? There it is. Now we add up everything here in the tens place, right? Start with the big number and count on six, seven, eight, nine, and one more makes 10. Now we have a number in the hundreds place and a zero in the tens place, right? That see the 10 right there. That makes 103. If you don't have that, fix it now. Good job. All right, are you ready? Let's go do some phonics. Okay, ready for phonics? Let's tap some words. Okay, the first word is stout. What's the word? Stout. Very good. Fingers up. 
Here we go. S -t -ow -t. Stout. How many sounds? Four sounds. Arm sweep it. S -t -ow -t. Stout. Very good. The next word is clout. What's the word? Clout. Very good. Fingers up. K -o -ow -t. Clout. How many sounds? Four sounds. Arm sweep it. K -o -ow -t. Clout. Very good. The next word is plain. What's the word? Plain. Fingers up. P -o -a -n. Plain. How many sounds? Four sounds again. Arm sweep it. P -o -a -n. Plain. Very good. The next word is stripe. Stripe. What's the word? Stripe. Very good. Fingers up. St -er -i -p. Stripe. How many sounds? Five sounds. Arm sweep it. St -er -i -p. Stripe. Good job. Okay. The last word is spring. What's the word? Spring. Here we go. Fingers up. S -p -er -e -n -g. Spring. How many sounds? Six sounds. Arm sweep it. S -p -er -e -n -g. Spring. Very, very good. Here we go. Let's get to work on some letter names and sounds. Here we go. O says ah uh, or o. Oh. U says a uh, or u. S says s. C says k. P says p. X says x. A says a uh, or a. B says b. Y says y or i or i. E says e or e. D says d. T says t. R says r. G says g or j. Z says z. F says th. I says I or I. L says O. M says M. H says H. W says W. J says J. V says V. K says K. N says N. Great job. All right, let's move on to digraphs and trigraphs. Are you ready? Here we go. G. N. Remember that G is silent. K. Ng. J. W. Ch. Qu. Er. Ed, d, or t. N. The K is silent there. All right. Now your favorite bell teams and our controlled vowels and variant vowels. Are you ready? Of course you are. Here we go. R. Ah. A. Er. A. Ow. 
or o. Ow or u. E or i. A. U or u. Er. Oi. I. E. O. Or. U or u. E. E. A. Er. O. E. A. I. Er. Oi. A. U or U. Ah. Great job. Let's do some sight words. This is a really long list of sight words. This is all the ones that we've covered this year. So I think what I'm going to do is I'll cut it in half because we don't do them all every day, do we? I'm going to cut them in half. I'll do this half today and the other half tomorrow so that we can just make things a little bit shorter. Okay, here we go. With, help, a, very, buy, must, find, we, go, little, out, that, there, into, away, down, do, went, all, see, is, said, one, walk, Show, now, will, was, good, but, come, the, from, how, to, give, be, only, take, put, of, this, could, there, say, then, like. Great job. Are you ready to go blend some words? All right, let's go to smart board. Here we go. Hey, let's get to work on blending some words. Here we go. P, o, a, t, plot. P, o, a, m, p, plump. P, o, a, s. I, k, plastic, p, a, ch, patch, k, a, ch, catch, o, a, ch, latch, k, o, AI says A M claim S T AY says A stay 
E-I-G-H. Those four letters say a sound together. We know it from our phonics cards. E-I-G-H says what? A. Good. A. T. A. T. Eight. Like the number. Okay. Are you ready? Think. Plot. Think. Clump. Think. Plastic. Think. Patch. Think. Catch. Think. Latch. Think. Claim. Think. Stay. Think. Eight. Very good. Okay. You know these words? Let's read them nice and quick. Here we go. Plot. Plump. Plastic. Patch. Catch. Latch. Claim. Stay. Eight. Very good. Let's read these words in some sentences. Here we go. Easy. We know this one. It's a popcorn word. The. Okay, I want you to think about this word. D. Or. Door. Has. A. Think about this word. We've already read it. Plastic. Think about this one. We've already read it as well. Latch. The. Door. Has. A. Plastic latch. The door has a plastic latch. Very good. Okay, let's swoop our sentence. Make it sound like a human's reading it, not a robot. The door has a plastic latch. The door has a plastic latch. One more time. The door has a plastic latch. Great job. Ready for the next one? This is a popcorn word. Think about it first. Good. There is a... Think about this word. We already read it. Sound it out. Plump. Good. Think about this word. We haven't read it yet. You'll have to sound it out, but you can do it. Let's sound it out together. P, a, n, p, k, i, n. Pumpkin. Good. In, the. Think about this word. We've read it before. Sound it out. Patch. Good job. There is a plump pumpkin in the patch. One more time. There is a plump pumpkin in the patch. Great job. Here we go. Let's swoop this sentence. There is a plump pumpkin in the patch. There is a plump pumpkin in the patch. One more time. There is a plump pumpkin in the patch. Great job. Okay, I need you to get your paper and pencil out. And just like we would do phonics journals, we're going to write some words. Here we go. Okay, it's time to write some words. Are you ready? Get your paper out. Get your pencil. Get your pencil to the paper. Always start all the way to the left, okay? I'm going to give you the sound first. 
you write the letter or letters for the sound, you're going to make the word and then you're going to read it, okay? The first sound is G. The next sound is R. Okay, the next sound is two letters. It's a vowel T, so two vowels. These two vowels together say A. What two letters say A? Write it down. The last sound is N. Got it? Okay, sound the word out. All together, blend it. What's the word? Grain, correct. Let's write it together. Here we go. I said first sound was G. Then R. And that two letter vowel team that says A is, of course, A, I. And the last sound is N. Grain. Very good. Ready for the next word? If you don't have it correct, fix it now. The next sound is P. The next sound is again that two letter vowel team that says A. You already know it. A. And the last sound is N. Mm. Only three sounds. Make sure you've got them all. Sound out the word. What's the word? Pain. Correct. Let's write it. I said P. Then I said vowel team that says A. Again, it's A I. And I said N at the end. Pain. Very good. Okay. The next word, here we go, below the word pain. P. Okay. O. Okay, and this is the last sound, okay? Here's the last sound. Think about it. A. I'll give you a hint. It's not this vowel team, but it is two letters. Okay. A at the end of a word. Okay, sound out the word. What's the word? Play. Very good. It's a popcorn word. Let's do it together. I said P. I said O. And I said the ending sound is A and it's two letters and it's not A I. So it must be a Y. Play. Very good. All right, now it's time for me to give you the word. You spell it on your own. We will tap it out before you do it, okay? The first word is tail. Tail. Okay. Let's tap it out. T A O. Tail. Okay, there's two kinds of tails. I'm talking about the tail that's on your cat or your dog, okay? Tail. I'll give you a hint. It's not a bossy E. It's not a bossy E. It is a vowel team. Okay, write it. Make sure you have all the sounds. T. A. O. Okay, let's see how to spell tail. Here we go. Right, that's T. A, and I said it's a vowel team, right? This is the only one that's a vowel team. And O. Let's make sure we've got it. T. A. O. Three sounds. Tail, we did it. Good job. Okay. The next word is lay. I think I need to lay down. Lay. 
Ready? Let's tap it out. O, A. Two sounds, only two sounds, but that A sound is at the end of the word. The A sound is at the end of the word. Only two sounds. Go ahead and write it now. Okay, let's do it together. O, easy. A, and I said it's not the vowel team. It's at the end of the word. So we use A, Y. Let's make sure we have it. We know it's only two sounds. O, A. Very good. Lay. Okay. The next sound is tray. Like in the cafeteria, you have a tray. Not tray. It's not a CH. Tray. Tray. Okay, let's tap it out. T, er, a. There's that a at the end of the word again. What does that tell you you need to use? Go ahead and write the word now. Make sure you have all the sounds. Okay, let's write it together. Here we go. I said the first sound is t. Then er. And the last sound is a. At the end of a word, we use a y. Tray. Let's make sure we have all the sounds. T. Er. A. Very good. Are you ready for a sentence? Okay, I have it for you. Lots of sight words on this sentence and only one new word, but we've already written it, okay? The sentence is, I was in so much pain. I was in so much pain. Let's count the words. I was in so much pain. Six words. Make sure you have all six. Make sure they're in the right order. After you've written the sentence, read over it again and read it word for word. Put your finger under each word and make sure they're all there and in the right order. Okay? Don't forget what you need at the beginning of a sentence. Don't forget what you need at the end. And don't forget your finger spaces, okay? Pause the video now. Write your sentence. I was in so much pain. Pause now. Okay, ready? Let's do this together. Here we go. I said the first word was I, right? The first word is I, and I is always what? Capital, that's correct. And we always start all the way to the left, right. I. Was, that is a popcorn word. You should know it. It's not the way it, it sounds, okay? It's not spelled the way it sounds. Was is spelled. You need to know that popcorn word. I was in. That's an easy one. That one is spelled the way it sounds. I, I. I was in so, so. That's a popcorn word. Much. Much. That's a popcorn word as well. But it sounds, it's spelled the way it sounds. So you can sound it out. M. Mm, a. Uh, ch. Much. I was in so much. Okay, we're doing good. The last word is pain. Now we've already written the word pain up here. All you have to do is put it at the end of your sentence. Which one could it be? It must be the one that starts with a P and ends with an N, right? Let's write it. P. A. U. Pain. Very good. Oh, wait. I don't know. Am I saying like, am I saying it like this? I was in so much pain. No, this is something you would say like, 
I was in so much pain. So you need one of these. What is that called? An exclamation point. Very good. Check your sentence. Make sure you've got it all correct. If you don't, pause the video now, fix it. And that's it. Take a little break. Go do something different for a while and then come back and I'll read a book, okay? See you soon. So before we get started with our read aloud book, I want to talk to you about the letter sounds that we've been working on this week and that we were focusing on this week. You know every week we have some letter sounds that we focus on and we really work hard on those. Um, you already know these sounds, so it should be pretty simple. Um, we practice them every day during phonics. We've already worked with them a lot. So um, just to kind of give you a review, um, we are, we're going to talk about them now. The sounds that we're working with, the sound that we're working with is the A sound, the long A sound. So we know lots of ways to do the A sound, right? We know. Oops. A-I, we worked with that a lot today. We know a y. We worked with that today as well. We know e y, and we know e i g h, just like in the word eight, right? So let's write a few words that use these letter combinations to make the a sound. Okay, a i. When we wrote tail. We know snail. How about rail? Er, a, o. Oh. How about a y? How about the word day? Day. Good job. How about e y? You know that a uh, popcorn word. They, right? Let's write they. And how about the word sleigh for E-I-G-H, like Santa sleigh? I'm going to write it down here. S-O-A, sleigh. Look at all those ways we know how to use the, the A sound. What I want you to do, if you have some time today, take a paper, make a chart like I did, write some words that use these A sounds. You know lots of them already. Okay, we'll keep talking about it more this week, and I've um, sent home some um, worksheets that you can work on if you're able to print, but just keep working on that, okay? Ready for our read aloud? Here we go. This is the book Yertle the Turtle. It's one of my favorite Dr. Seuss books, and I didn't get a chance to read it during um, Read Across America Week, so I thought I'd read it now. In the faraway island of Salamasan, Yertle the Turtle was king of the pond. A nice little pond. It was clean. It was neat. The water was warm. There was plenty to eat. The turtles had everything turtles might need. And they were all happy, quite happy indeed. They were, until Yertle, the king of them all, decided the kingdom he ruled was too small. I'm ruler, said Yertle, of all that I see, but I don't see enough. That's the trouble with me. With this stone for a throne, I look down on my pond, but I cannot look down on the places beyond. This throne that I sit on is too, too low down. It ought to be higher, he said with a frown. If I could sit high, how much greater I'd be. What a king I'd be. I'd be ruler of all I could see. Mm, I don't know. Let's see what happens. So Yertle the Turtle King lifted his hand. And Yertle the Turtle King gave a command. He ordered nine turtles to swim to his stone. And using these turtles, he built a new throne. He made each turtle stand on another one's back, and he piled them all up in a nine-turtle stack. And then Yertle climbed up. He sat down on the pile. What a wonderful view! He could see most a mile. 
Is that fair to the other turtles? I don't think so. All mine, Yertle cried. Oh, the things I now rule. I'm king of a cow and I'm king of a mule. I'm king of a house and what's more beyond that, I'm king of a blueberry bush and a cat. I'm Yertle the turtle. Oh, marvelous me, for I'm the ruler of all that I see. And all through that morning he sat there up high, saying over and over, A great king am I, until long about noon. Then he heard a faint sigh. What's that? snapped the king, and he looked down the stack, and he saw at the bottom a turtle named Mac. Just a part of his throne, and this plain little turtle looked up, and he said, Beg your pardon, King Yertle. I've pains in my back and my shoulders and knees. How long must we stand here, your majesty? silence the king of the turtles barked back i'm king and you're only a turtle named mac you stay in your place while i sit here and rule rule i'm king of a cow and i'm king of a mule i'm king of a house and a bush and a cat but that isn't all i'll do better than that my throne shall be higher, his royal voice thundered. So pile up more turtles. I want about two hundred. Turtles, more turtles, he bellowed and brayed. And the turtles, way down in the pond, were afraid. They trembled, they shook, but they came, they obeyed. From all over the pond they came swimming by dozens, whole families of turtles with uncles and cousins. And all of them stepped on the head of poor Mac. One after another, they climbed up the stack. Those poor turtles. Then, Yertle the turtle was perched up so high, he could see 40 miles from his throne in the sky. Hooray, shouted Yertle, I'm king of the trees, I'm king of the birds, and I'm king of the bees. I'm king of the butterflies, king of the air. Ah, me, what a throne, what a wonderful chair. I'm Yertle the turtle, oh, marvelous me, for I am the ruler of all that I see. Doesn't sound like a very nice guy. Then again from below, in the great heavy stack, came a groan from that plain little turtle named Mac. Your majesty, please, I don't like to complain, but down here below we are feeling great pain. I know up on top you are seeing great sights, but down at the bottom we too should have rights. We turtles can't stand it, our shells will all crack. Besides, we need food, we are starving groaned Mac. He's not treating those turtles very nicely. You hush up your mouth, howled the mighty King Yertle. You've no right to talk to the world's highest turtle. I rule from the clouds or land over sea. There's nothing, no nothing that's higher than me. He is so mean. But while he was shouting, he saw with surprise that the moon of the evening was starting to rise. Up over his head, in the darkening skies, what's that, snorted Yertle. Say, what is that thing that dares to be higher than Yertle the king? I shall not allow it. I'll go higher still. I'll build my throne higher. I can, and I will. I'll call some more turtles. I'll stack them to heaven. I need about 5,607. That's a lot of turtles. Do you think he can get higher than the moon? I don't think so. But as Yertle the turtle, King lifted his hand and started to order and give the command. That plain little turtle below in the stack, that plain little turtle whose name was just Mac, decided he'd taken enough, and he had. And that plain little lad got a little bit mad. And that plain little Mac did a plain little thing. He burped, and his burp shook the throne of the king. And Yertle the turtle, the king of the trees, the king of the air and the bird and the bees, and the king of a house and the cow and a cow and a mule. Well, that was the end of King of Turtle King's rule, for Yertle the king of all Selimassand fell off his high throne and fell plunk into the pond. And today the great Yertle, that marvelous he, is king of the mud. That is all he can see. And the turtles, of course, all the turtles are free as turtles and maybe all creatures should be. Well, he didn't treat them very fairly and it sounds like he got what he deserved, right? He shouldn't have been treating those turtles like that.
if you get a chance to watch the read aloud with your mom and dad or with your brother and sister, talk about that story. Tell them what you think. Discuss it. What was he was Yertle the turtle wrong or right? How would you feel if you're one of the turtles stacked away up high? I don't know. Well, that's it for today. I hope you had a great lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the book. Um, get some rest now. Maybe go outside and have some fun. But I will see you again here tomorrow. Bye. Love you.